So what I'd like to show here is how to create Trimble Earthworks machine files using Business Center. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure that you have all your components ready to go out to the field in your Business Center file. So what I have on the screen here is my uh, line work file. That's exactly what I want to show up on the screen out in the field. So I have that already set and I need to make sure I have a surface so I could come over here to my view filter and turn on my finish design. So I do have my surface. That's the finish design that I'd like to send out to the field. So I have that available to me. And I also want to make sure that I have my uh, site calibration or my, my DC file in this project. So if you look down here at the bottom of the screen, it'll say that the site is calibrated. So if you have your DC or your cal in this project, it needs to say calibrated down below. If it says grid, then you have not brought that in and you won't get the correct file formats. So just make sure that you have a calibrated site down at the bottom. So next place you want to go is up here to the ribbon to the field data tab. Um, if you have a newer version of Business Center 5.0, it might say construction data. So you can use uh, that same tab and you come over here to the left and you click on job site. So this is going to create a job site for the machine. So you want to click on that and say create a new site so we can type in the name of this project. So this is a Dollar General and I'll just put uh, EW after it so I know this is my Earthworks one and it's going to ask us to um, put it into one of these controllers. So if we're not going to put it into our SCS 900 or SiteWorks or our GCS 900, we can leave this blank. Um, you can create a, a GCS 900 file straight through the same process by clicking this box. So for right now, I'll just leave this blank and we're just going to create the Earthworks file, but you can bring in um, the other uh, files as well. And you can also add an external site. So if you have your uh, SiteWorks or SCS 900 uh, job site synced up to your PC, you can bring everything right in from the data collector by hitting this add external site. So that's one way you can do it. We're going to just start from scratch and do a create new site. So I'm going to hit OK here. And it's going to ask me to verify some of my um, items that are in my project. And this is the key for the Earthworks, which is a little bit different than the way we used to do it before, is you have this project library up top here. So right now it says none. So what we need to do is, is change that. So we hit the select button here and it says select project in project library. So what you want to do is come down here and you're going to change this to folder. OK, so that's going to create the folder on our laptop in the correct location of where we need it to be. So I'm going to say folder. I'm going to say that it's a new site, Dollar General Earthworks, hit OK. And it's going to change that. So everything else we shouldn't really have to worry about here. So just leave everything else the same here and hit close. So the next spot we want to go to is after we create the job site, we need to create our design. So click on the create design button. It's going to ask us for our design name. So we can call this whatever we want. We can call it with today's date. Um, I'll just call this uh, finish grade. And I'm just going to hit OK. And it's going to ask me here the model type. So if we hit the edit button here, change this to surface and then choose the surface that's in your project that you want. So I have a couple different surfaces in here, but I want the finished design to go out to the machine. So I click that, leave this next one blank to say none. And you can just keep this default file name um, the same or you can just edit it here by hitting custom. So I'll just leave it as default and hit OK. And then stakeout points we won't need for the machine and we're going to skip down to design map. So here's where you want to hit this plus minus button. And this will allow you to choose the map that's going to be on the screen. So I'm just going to do a window around everything because I have everything looking the way that I want it. So I hit add. It says 273 objects were added. So I'll hit OK on that and hit close. 
So that's all there is to it for creating a design. So the next and final step to get that design in the correct format for Earthworks is come over here to the middle of the ribbon and hit publish to library. So once you create that design, we need to publish it to the library. So click on that button, publish to library. It's going to give us a couple things here to confirm. So our, our summary is we're going to send a job site uh, calibration control map or control point site map. So all these things are going to go to the um, project library. So right now it says unpublished. So if we hit the publish button down below, it's going to go through the motions and create those files. And it says the following items were published successfully. So hit OK on that. OK, so now we have to find out where did that go. So what you want to do is you want to go down to your C drive. So the C drive on your computer, you should have a folder called Project Library. So we're in the root of the, the PC in the C drive, Project Library, open it up. You'll have two folders here, go into Projects, and then there's the project that we named it, Dollar General EW, open that up, folder called Office Data, and then here is my um, site calibration information, and in here is also my design. If I open up the design, there's that one that I called finish grade and the DSZ, that's the correct format for Earthworks. So that is the file structure that is created. So now that is located on our computer. So now if we're gonna move this out to the field, we have to put this onto a USB stick. So the easiest way to do it is plug in your USB stick and I have that already created down below. So I have the USB stick and this is just a brand new USB stick with nothing on it. So right now it just has nothing there. So if I go up back up to the C drive and I copy the project library and I want to go back to the USB drive and just right click and hit paste, I'm going to take that entire project library and paste that onto the USB stick. So once I do that, the, the stick is completely ready to go to the machine. So you want to like remove it from your uh, computer and then take it over to the machine and follow the instructions on the control box to import it to the machine.